Sourdough bread. Does sourdough bread raise blood sugar? What is the impact on blood sugar within the first two hours of eating sourdough bread? And is the blood sugar spike from eating sourdough bread any different from eating other types of breads? What is the GI or glycemic index of sourdough bread? These are some of the questions that I'm going to tackle in this episode of Know What You Eat. Welcome to the Habits Pharmacy, where habits become medicine. I'm Dr. Chan, your host. I always review very thoroughly the eating habits of all my patients, including those with diabetes. And sometimes I will see some of them having obviously excessive amounts of breads. And I will point it out to them. And some of them will tell me, Doctor, these are not normal breads. They are sourdough breads. They do not cause blood sugar spikes. Or, Doctor, I was told by my friends that because of the special way that sourdough breads are made, they are different from other breads. So people with diabetes can take sourdough breads freely. So let's examine this statement. Sourdough breads do not raise blood sugar. And people with diabetes can take it freely in any amounts without any concerns about having any unhealthy blood sugar spikes from eating sourdough breads. True or false? What do you think? Let's have a mini quiz, a multiple choice question quiz with regards to sourdough breads. Which of these statements do you think is true? Is it A, sourdough bread does not raise blood sugar. People with diabetes can take it freely. Or is it B, sourdough bread raises blood sugar as much as any other breads. People with diabetes should still be mindful of that. Or is it C, sourdough bread will still raise blood sugar, albeit to a lesser degree than most other breads. People with diabetes should still be mindful of that fact. Which of these statements do you think more accurately reflect how sourdough breads might affect blood sugar? Is it A, B, or C? Why don't you write down your answer in the comments section below? One way of looking at the impact of any food on blood sugar within the first two hours of ingestion is by looking at the GI or glycemic index of that food from databases of GI tests done on that food. And my go-to source for GI information is this website maintained by the University of Sydney, which has one of the largest databases of GI test results. Go to glycemiindex.com, then click on GI search, type in sourdough and click search. And you will get a listing of all the records of GI testing done on different types of sourdough breads in the database. As you can see, the GI of sourdough breads are in the 50s range. When one say that the GI test result of a particular brand or recipe of sourdough bread is say 54, what does it actually mean? To put it very simply, almost at the risk of oversimplification, we can take it to mean that after eating that particular sourdough bread, the resulting blood sugar spike is about 54% of the blood sugar spike from eating the equivalent amount of glucose in the two hours after ingestion. So, with a GI in the 50s range, the GI of sourdough bread is in the low to medium GI categories, similar to wholemeal breads, a bit generally a little lower. This is how the range of GI for sourdough breads compare with other common staples such as oats, rice, quinoa, and barley. Although the glycemic index rating of sourdough breads is in the 50s, the actual blood sugar spike or the glycemic response for any individual after eating a meal containing sourdough bread is determined by more than just the GI of the sourdough bread. It also depends on a few factors, including that individual's glucose tolerance, the amount of sourdough bread eaten, as well as what other foods were eaten together with the sourdough bread in that particular meal. At this point, I want to highlight that the focus of this video is on discussing the blood sugar impact of sourdough bread. I am not comparing sourdough bread with other breads in terms of nutrition, phytates or gluten levels in this video. So let's go back to the mini quiz I challenged you with at the beginning of the video. The answer is not A. It is not correct to say that sourdough bread does not raise blood sugar and that people with diabetes can take sourdough breads freely in any amounts without any concerns about blood sugar spice. But at the same time, it is also not quite true to say that sourdough breads raises blood sugar as much as any other types of breads. The correct answer should be C. 
that sourdough bread will still raise blood sugar, a bit usually to a lesser degree than most other breads. Therefore, although sourdough bread has a lower glycemic index than many other breads, people with diabetes should still be mindful that sourdough bread with a glycemic index of about 55 will still raise blood sugar, a bit to a lesser degree than the higher GI breads, and should therefore still be mindful of the other factors that I have highlighted earlier in the video that will affect the blood sugar spike when eating a meal containing sourdough bread. I hope you have found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below what other questions regarding food and health that you would like me to tackle in future episodes of Know What You Eat. Let habits be thy medicine. I'm Dr. Chan. Eat well and be well.